back to waiting and later to see you. Today is our last episode on the cha- Revelations chapter 14, the interlude before we get back into the bowls. So, what is this interlude today? Today's interlude is found in Revelations 14, starting in chapter 14. It is entitled, The Vision of Armageddon. Let's go ahead and take Revelation 14, starting in verse 14. Reading from the New King James Version. Reaping the earth's harvest. Then I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and on the cloud sat one like the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, Thrust in your sickle and reap, for the time has come for you to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he who sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Reaping the grapes of wrath. Continuing in verse 17. Then another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, who had power over fire, and he cried with a loud cry to him who had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in your sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. So the angel thrust his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth, and threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trampled outside the city, and blood came out of the winepress, up to the horses' bridles, for 1,600 furlongs. Okay, what we have here is, I love this interlude. I think this interlude is fantastic for one reason. It is God giving us a preview of what he's about to do. This is, oh, what are they, this is the trailer. This is the what's going to happen trailer. God is telling John, get ready, this is going to happen. This is like watching your favorite movie that you've been waiting for for years. And when those movies are coming out, it's like, okay, I remember when my youngest son, he was all psyched about the new release of the Godzilla movies. And when they first started putting out the, you know, we followed the talk in the background of what was going on, the little leaked up messages. You get really excited when you hit that first trailer. The first official trailer. And this is the first official trailer of Armageddon. Now, in some books, this is entitled The Reaping of the Earth. Whatever title you want to call it, this is basically the first first big trailer or actually this is the last big trailer of the reaping this is the final one the one that is going to get your attention because guess what armageddon gets people's attention and society itself has almost a fixation with this concept the final battle between the forces of good and the forces of evil and this is going to be a monumental battle I mean, this is the thriller in Manila and times a million. Because in one corner we have Satan, ruler of the earth, with his minions, the Antichrist, the false prophet, and basically all the inhabitants of earth but a few. And against him we have Christ coming down on his cloud, but he's not alone. This time, Christ comes in all his glory. He's riding that horse, he's got his sword, and behind him is his army. And his army includes all of the Christians that have died. This is going to be an epic battle. It's such an epic battle that, I mean, even the Bible gives it a trailer. I mean, I think this is awesome. Yeah, this is, this is what, this is what we've been waiting for. I mean, in some senses, I would love to be able to sit down on the sidelines somewhere with a box of popcorn, 
my soda, and watch this battle for play out. The problem is, it's going to be intense, and guess what? No one's on the sidelines. You're on one side or the other on this one. So, as you read this and you see that Christ is being told to reap and burn, this is all, a, this is a trailer. This is a sneak peek. And if you want to look at that sneak peek, the earth is ready, they say. The angels tell Christ, it's ready. It's time. And guess what? That time ain't too far off. When that final battle comes, the end of the tribulation, the final moment before Christ's full return, and he sets up his king, earthly kingdom, is not far off. I mean, the excitement level of my son over Godzilla is nothing compared to the excitement Christians should be having over the idea of Armageddon. Because that's it. It's it's over, folks. This is the point where the fat lady sings and it's done. Put a fork in it. Satan's time is coming to an end. So, that is what basically you have from Revelation chapter 14, verse 14, all the way to the end of it. And the wine press was tra trampled outside of the city, and the blood came out of the wine press up, up to horses' bridles for over 600 furlongs. Wow. It's a lot of blood. I mean, I've seen some gore fest movies, but even they would have to sit back and go, whoa, because God has been waiting a long time. The believers have been waiting a long time to finally say enough. Now, I know many people are like, how can you be rooting for, the, for Armageddon? Look at all these people that died. Yeah, look at all these people that killed Christians. Look at what happens afterwards. And we'll go into that later in, a, in some future episodes. The point is, this is what we've been waiting for. This is what humanity has been waiting for. And just as important, this is what the earth has been waiting for. The earth itself is crying out. I mean, one of the newest religions of the left is this climate change. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, do I believe man has messed up the earth? Without a doubt. You don't believe me? Drive over the hill and come into L.A. And this, keep in mind, it's gotten better. I lived in L.A. back in the 70s. When you would come over the hill into San Bernardino and look down and you would see the smog over the city. You see this thing in any major city. This kind of like a black smoke just hovering over the town. Guess what? Those aren't the worst offenders. The smog in the city of Beijing is so bad that they have to wear masks. Granted, L.A. has bad, bad days too. Then you've got Mexico City. You've got all these major cities where the smog just sits on top of everything. And guess what? That is mankind screwing up the planet. This is us not being good stewards. So the earth itself is crying out and saying, please, please, Lord, come. The earth is crying for it. Christians are crying for it. The saints are crying for it. And the pre, and the, oh, the glimpse we're getting here is it's coming. So, are you ready for that for that battle? Have you picked your side? Have you picked up your armor? If you don't know what I'm talking about in the armor, that's okay. Stay tuned next week when in the early part of the week you'll see an episode on the armor of God. 
and we will go through the armor and explain to you what this means. And it's something that you don't have to have, you don't, hey, this is great armor. You don't have to go to a metalsmith. You don't have to go to a store. All you have to do is go to God, trust in the Lord, and read your Bible, and you get your armor. And then you are prepared. So, this has been Waiting in Laodicea. We have con I've concluded our chapter 14. We do have one more. I'm sorry. I know I said we're going right into the bowls. But we have a prep, one last preparation, and that's a, a glimpse of heaven, which is seen in chapter 15. We'll be covering that next week, followed immediately by the bowls. Stay tuned. They're probably going to come out all in the same week. If you do not have your notification bell hit, I would recommend you do it. We are approaching now on a six-day-a-week schedule, except on BitChute. I'm trying to keep up with posting each day on BitChute, but sadly, I don't know how to schedule. So if you do know how to schedule, please send us a message. Tell me how to schedule things on BitChute, and I'd appreciate it. And I will sing your praises on this channel. If you're not, if you don't know, that's okay. I'll still sing your praises. Finally, if you've enjoyed this show, hit that like button, hit that share button. Please subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe, your family to subscribe, the people you know at church to subscribe. Remember, the easiest, most in, most inexpensive way to support this channel. It's just simply subscribe, watch, like, and share. This helps this channel get money, get monetized, use that money to buy better equipment, to improve our website, to do the different things that this ministry is designed to do. So if you, if you don't have any money, this is the way you can help. Other things, if you do want to help out even further, you can look down in the comment section. You'll see different methods to support, ways to donate. You can donate through this channel, whether it be YouTube or BitChute. There are ways to, to donate. I'll be looking into ways to join. I haven't figured that out yet. We're working on it. But you can become a patron. That information is located in the channel description. So, you have these methods to help. You have these methods to donate. If you want other methods to donate, you can go to our website, which is www.waitinginlayodicea.weebly.com. Or, hey, just send me an email. You can reach me at waitinginlayodicea at gmail.com. I do hope to hear from you. Whether it's about helping us out or just raising questions, please email me. Or put your message in the comments. I do notice, and for those of you that have seen some of the comments posted, well, sadly, there are people that are opposed to what we believe in. And instead, they'd like to post links to porno sites. And according to, I mean, it's not appropriate, I agree. And until I get the notifications, once I do, I try to get rid of them. But occasionally one will slip through. If it did, hey, pray for them. Remember, I'm not responsible for the comments on this, these pages. So why don't you take a step up and let them know. If you're interested in helping out in any way, other than financially, please send me an email. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you all. May God bless each and every one of you throughout this week. And